Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones here, and this video is going to be on basically how to get the job you want or just to get a job in general. So I'm a college student. I will be graduating in December with an undergraduate in finance, and I will be starting my full-time job in January. This video is going to show you or is going to tell you how I did it and some tips and tricks and basically if I can do it, anyone can do it. So here we'll get into it. Be ambitious, guys. No one's gonna like force you to apply to job applications. No one's gonna force you to get off the gains on the computer and to start applying for these jobs. No one can force you to do that. You have to want to do it. So you have to want to have a job. That's the big deal. You have to get yourself in the mindset, okay, I want a full-time job. I want benefits. I want to be successful. I want to do this for me. No one's going to tell you that. You've got to do it yourself. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself in the mindset, okay, this is what I want and I want to work and I want to make money and I want to live on my own and I want this to be my life. I want to support my family, yada, yada, yada. So you have to be ambitious and you have to hype yourself up like this is what I want and I'm going to do it. And no one else can tell you to do something or to not to do it. Only you can. Everything is based off of your choice. The next thing is to pick the career you're interested in. Something my father gave me some advice. I was applying for jobs and I was kind of applying all over the place like restaurant manager to, you know, accounting to IT to like everywhere. I was just applying to everything and everything and everywhere and I just wanted a job. He's like, well, could you really see yourself working in that environment? And I thought, I don't know. It's like, what do you mean? It's like, do you really think you'd be good at this? And I really sat back and I thought, I don't know if I'd be that good at that or if I want to do that because the career you set you set yourself in, you are going to advance in that career path. And if you get a job that you enjoy full time, that's where your opportunity is to grow and to move up within the company. So you want to make sure that you're choosing the right thing that you want to do. So if you want to be in public service, so if you want to be military, a fighter, fighter, uh, fire fighter, sorry, um, a cop, FBI, you have to go for that goal and achieve it. Uh, because that's completely different from being an accountant or human resources or a, an animal, exotic animal keeper, etc. So that's really important. Find out, sit back, think, what do I want to do for my life? What do I want to, what excites me? What do I, do I want to be a physical trainer uh, for fitness? What do I want to do? So really just think about it. Think about what excites you. There's so many jobs out there. Geology, uh you know, fitness trainer, you got so many things, that librarian, oh my gosh, there's so many jobs. So really just think about what excites you and what you would like to do and what you would like to grow up in the career with. The next thing is to set small goals. So, small goals that are achievable. For example, I'm graduating in December, in August I decided, okay, I'm gonna be doing an application a day until I graduate. And that was my idea, is that I'm just going to do a job application a day. And if I miss one day, I'm doing two the next day. That being said, job applications are very time consuming. But I know it was reasonable for me to do a job application a day. And if I wasn't doing a job application, I would be improving my resume or improving LinkedIn, improving my social media. I was really like improving myself, you know, or thinking about the job, what job I wanted, what the career was. Every day I would set time aside to think about that or to apply to a job. And the next thing is never lie, but set your resume up for success. So for interviews, for your resume, never lie, never. Cause that's not gonna get you a job. In fact, that's just gonna get you fired or in trouble and it's just not a good idea. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy and karma is gonna bite you in the butt. So just be honest and be yourself. You can have very limited experience and still get a good job. So let's talk about that. When you set your resume up for success, you're one gonna, you want it to look very professional. So make your resume as professional looking as possible. You also want to use action verbs like, uh, let's see, I worked at a grocery store. So let's put this example, assisted customers uh, with, or assisted customers with 
grocery products and make sure that they and made sure that they were satisfied. That's an example of what I put on my resume, I think, along the line. Do you want to use action words and you want to show and prove that you learned something from the job and that you were an asset and that these entry level jobs you learned a lot from and you did a lot for the company? Any kind of compliments or rewards that you got within that company, go ahead and put it down there. You are trying to sell yourself, darling. Make yourself look good. Uh, the next one is that failure is the best teacher and you're going to get way more no's than yeses. Oh my gosh. I have 6, 12, 18. Okay, so I have applied about 150 applications since August. About 150. I heard, mm, maybe that's a little lot. That's a lot. Probably like 100. Let's say 100. I have heard back from two companies. One hired me. The other one, I don't know what they're doing. But <laughs> I got hired for a good full-time job with benefits and good pay. And I was like, let's take it. So right there, you know, I got like 100 no's and two yeses. And it, it, one of them was a yes for the job. The other one was a yes just to interview me. So it lets you know that failure is the best teacher. You cannot let these 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 no's make it feel like I'm never going to get a job. I give up. I'm, I'm just not going to get a job. There's no reason for me trying. I just have no experience. That's not the truth. You are going to get a job. It may not be the pay grade you wish. It may not be you know, as extraordinary as you think, but it will be right for you in the moment and it will be what you are worth. Always sell yourself for what you're worth and not less. So if they're offering you less than what you are worth, go to the next company. But you will get so many no's and only a few yeses. So for a lot of y'all out there who quit job applications, just like, I'm not gonna get a job, it's whatever, I've given up. You're going with the wrong mindset. This happens to everybody, including myself. There were days where I was just like, done. But you can't, you can't be like that, guys. By the way, I'm sorry for all the boxes we just moved in. Um, reach out and network. Oh my gosh, you would not believe where you can get jobs from. The people, people, they don't even have to be your friends. They can just be people you went to school with. People you met in a grocery store. I met a guy who worked for USAA and I talked to him and like try to connect with him. And he's like, oh, let me give you my business card. Stuff like that. You know, you will meet people and job opportunities will show up. And also networking is just really good in general because that's going to let Maybe they won't get you a job, but maybe their friend will get you a job. Does that make sense? And I will be honest. I sit at home and play games on my computer on my free time. Besides studying in school, I'm not the kind of person that likes to go out and hang out with people or communicate or talk. It takes 10 minutes, guys. It's so easy. You just talk to them and be like, oh, okay, what are you doing for your job once you graduate? Or anything like that. And guys, you don't have to have a college degree for this video. Obviously, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a student, so it pertains to me. But guys, you could go into plumbing, you can go into trade school, you can go to anything you want, you could be whatever makes you satisfied in life is all that matters. Um, the next one is to have fun with it and be patient. I think that be patient one kind of goes with the whole idea of you're gonna get a lot of no's and only a few yeses. The patience part is tough. Some people get a job within a couple months of applying every day. Some people get a job within six months. Some people get a job within a year. The deal is you can't stop trying and you can't compare yourself to other people. I have a friend, a girlfriend of mine, who is coming out of college with a much better job than I. I'm very graceful or I'm blessed to have the job that I'm going to have, but my friend is making almost double me. <laughs> but you cannot, like, put yourself down. It's just, like, you need to be happy for your friends and realize that they worked hard, too. She's also an engineering major, hence I'm a business major. There's a big difference in the pay gap. That being said, though, is you cannot compare yourself to other people. The next thing is to be yourself. If you are not yourself in the interviewing process, they're gonna catch you. And human resources for companies or whoever you wanna work with is very good at spotting out genuine people versus non-genuine. 
You've got to be yourself 100% guys. And if that's, you have a disability and you feel like you need to let the company know, whatever that case may be, just be yourself 100% and really show, really show who you are and, and be like the best you can be. So like your, your biggest strengths, let them know your biggest strengths. If you have a weakness that you feel like you can improve on and that you've learned from in the past, like me, um, what's a good one for me? Um, I don't like to procrastinate and whenever I have group projects and people in my group procrastinate, it makes me have a lot of anxiety and be kind of like a little rude sometimes. So like I had to calm that down, you know, and just realize that some people don't like to do things as early as I do. So I just need to like have a chill vibe and be considerate that they might have personal reasons, things like that, guys. So you just have like, have little faults that you know that you've improved on and show the company, I know that I have a problem with this, I'm a perfectionist, but I've really noticed that and worked on it. That's just an example. So really work on that interview, interviewing. Some people, their strengths are their resumes. Some people, their strengths are their interviewing. Find your strength and roll with it, guys. I think the biggest deal is to not give up. And you're going to be nervous. And yes, it stinks to get up and get out of the house and go to interviews. There were days where, like, I really <clears throat> don't want to go get out of bed and go interview. I really don't want to do it. But I know it will be good for me. So, guys, I hope that this helped you. And know that you're not the only person out there in your 20s or early 20s or late 20s that are looking for a job and you're very it's like a full-time good job that you're willing to move out of the house and just live on your own and it's tough you know so I just want to put this video out there and I hoped these tips helped y'all out I'm super hyped and the work hard work paid off and it does guys hard work pays off but you're gonna have a lot of failure and you're gonna have a lot of downs in between so Anyway, thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos. And thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you'll have a good one.